let's take a look at how to estimate sums, differences, and products of decimals. Estimate the product. Round each factor to the nearest whole number, and then multiply. Okay, so if I want to round 4.3 to the nearest whole number, well, 0.3 is less than 5, so I would round down to 4. And I'm going to multiply that by, well, 1.4, I'm going to round that to the nearest whole number as well. Well, 4 is also less than 5, so I'm going to round that down to 1. So 4 times 1 is 4, so that means 4 is a close approximation. And when you see this symbol here that looks like a squiggly equal sign, that means is approximately equal to. So that just tells us it's an estimate. It's not an exact answer. So it's approximately equal to or close to 4. Estimate the sum by rounding each number to the nearest whole number and then adding. Okay, so 1.9 is really close to 2. Plus 2.8 is really close to 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5, so that means 5 is a pretty close estimate for our answer. Okay, we're going to round these to the nearest whole number and then subtract. So 5.3. Well, 3 is less than 5, so we're going to round that down. So remember, when you're rounding to the nearest whole number, you're looking at the first decimal place or the tenths place, and if that number is 5 or higher, it's going to round the whole number up. If it's smaller than 5, it's going to stay what it is. So this one stays 5. And then we're going to subtract 4.6. Well, in this case, 6 is higher than 5, so that's going to round it up so that 4 is going to become a 5. Well, 5 minus 5 is 0, so that means 0 is a pretty close approximation for our answer. Okay, 8.1, if I round that to the nearest whole number, that would round down to 8, minus 4.2 rounded to the nearest whole number would round down to 4. Well, 8 minus 4 gives us 4, so 4 is a pretty close approximation. 4.5 times 1.9, and again, we're rounding to the nearest whole number and then multiplying. Well, 4.5 since that's 5 or higher after our decimal point, would round up to the whole number of 5. 1.9 would round up to the whole number of 2. So 5 times 2 is really close to 10. So this would be approximately equal to or close to 10. Okay, so when we round these to the nearest whole number, 8.3, well, 0.3 is smaller than 0.5, so that's going to round down to 8, times 0.9 is going to round up to 1. Well, 8 times 1 gives us 8, so this is approximately equal to or close to 8. Okay, if we round to the nearest whole number, 4.3, that's going to round down to 4 and 8.6 is going to round up to 9. So 4 times 9 is 36. That's a close approximation for our answer. Okay, 1.6, that's going to round up to 2. And 7.3, that's going to round down to 7. 2 plus 7 gives us 9. So this is approximately equal or close to 9. Six point five would round up to seven. Zero point six would round up to one. Seven plus one gives us eight. So that's a close approximation for our answer. Okay, five point five rounds up to six. Six point four rounds down to six. Six plus six gives us twelve. So 5.5 plus 6.4 is approximately equal to 12. 